Hey. Hey. How to increase your vocabulary? Part two. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, you should definitely go and check it out now. And now, let's go to the rest of it. What's the next thing you can do to improve your vocabulary? Here's what. Tip number two. Always be taking notes. You know that you can only expect yourself to memorize something, but when the day comes and you need the word that you thought you would memorize, you just cannot find it in your brain. And the reason you should be taking notes is exactly that. No matter how enthusiastic you are about memorizing new things, you will not memorize them because of the amount of new words that you're learning. So, so make sure, please make sure that you have your little notebook here and write all the new words that you hear. Like you walk down the street, you hear some people saying something and it's a new word for you. Like, oh, I have to memorize that word. I have to Google it. I have to look it up. Or you're watching a movie and then you see something. You just don't want to forget it. You're like, if you don't have the notebook with you all the time, you have your phone with you all the time. I know that. I know that. What? 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 So you're going to lie to me now and tell me that you don't have your phone with you all the time? Lies. Baloney. Stop lying. Okay. It works. Please do it. Okay. Step number three. Did you know that you could learn up to four or five sometimes new words by learning only one? You, yeah. Like, you take one new word and you turn it into five. Yeah, it can happen. That's how English works. That's why I keep telling people everything, everything out there that has a word in English for itself can have its action kind of a form or description kind of a form. So let me teach you. I have a little... Ta-da! Board right here. <laughs> and I'm gonna teach you what's up. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four types of words right here. Four. And the first type is thing. The second type is description. The third type is action. And the fourth type is action description. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh keep watching just because I hate grammar and just because I don't want to teach you guys grammar I decided to call these words like this we all know the things are things this is a thing right my hand it's a thing right my hair it's a thing right I am a thing right actually a human but a thing whatever if you ask English teachers they're gonna tell you this is called noun but let's just not talk about nouns let's talk about things Okay, second type is description. I believe that your teachers tell you they call this adjectives. The third type is action. I guess your teachers tell you that this is, we call these verbs. I call them actions. And the fourth one is action description. I believe your teachers call this adverbs, but I call them action description because these words describe the actions. <laughs> the thing that we're gonna talk about today is success. Did you know the success has three other forms right here, like right here. So if you want to describe other words with success, you are going to say successful. I have success, but I'm a successful person. So the word is successful. So basically by learning one word, you learn the second word too. Action, what, it, what could possibly be the action word? For success. Yeah, succeed. Okay. Succeed. And if you want to describe that, okay, pass an exam. Pass mean is an action. So, but if you want to say that you passed the exam and you did well, it's an action description. You are going to say successfully. I got, it. okay, whatever. Successfully. That's right. So basically, you learn this word. That means you learned three other words, okay? I have success, I am successful, I will succeed, and I successfully succeed. <laughs> so, okay. How crazy is that? Lovely, right? Lovely, my man, this thing works, trust me. Like, it's so freaking awesome, okay? And if you wanna make sure that you remember them all, just make example sentences. And where do you make example sentences? 
your journal, your journal, reading books, you'll find them there, talking to your friends, just usage every single day. Oh my God, if you only knew how easy English was, that was step number three. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video of mine. I hope you found it very valuable. Part three is coming out soon. If you want to share it with your friends, I would be very grateful. Give me some thumbs up and a subscribe down there. And you can add some comments telling me what's the next video you would like me to do. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye.